Hi Bowen Dewey Puti, one more beautiful time, chapter number 3 and this is going to be video number 3 as well. Grade 10 science, it is as per the Sri Lankan government school syllabus. Structure of matter is the lesson that what we have been learning and we learned about atomic number and the mass number in our previous session and this session we are going to talk about electronic configuration electronic configuration and let's see what is electronic configuration and the relevant information in this beautiful lesson Representing how electrons are filled in the respective energy levels from the one nearest to the nucleus of an atom and outward is called electronic configuration. Wow, that's a lot of definition. When you are trying to memorize this, you definitely will have difficulties. But if you understand the lesson, it's not going to be very much hard. So let's understand that one. This is the nucleus, okay, and nucleus, and then you know that energy level goes as 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now, in these nucleus, close to the nucleus, there are energy level, you know that 1, 2, 3, 4, and in that, there, are, there will be two electrons in the immediate, the first energy level, and the second energy level, it will carry around about 8 and electrons and the third one it is going to carry 18 and the next one is 32 electrons now the electron the maximum electron that the first energy level can carry is 2 and the second 8 and the third is 18 and the fourth is 32 now we understood that those are called electronic configuration. Now let's read that one. Representing how electrons are filled in the respective energy levels from the one nearest to the nucleus of an atom and outward is called electronic configuration. Now electronic configurations goes on like that. Now let's understand and let's talk about silicon. Now atomic number of silicon is 14 and this is how the first, second, third and fourth configurations will be. Now let's see close to the nucleus first and the second electronic configuration, third electronic configuration and the fourth electronic configuration. You always know about the first is known as K, the second is known as L, third is known as M and the fourth is known as N as well. And this is how they write in the chart. So how many electrons in the first energy level it can carry? One, two. And the second one is eight one two three four five six seven eight so you already know about it that we have filled this one and this one so the next one will carry one two three and four so the electronic configuration of the silicon is definitely in front of you this is how it comes in the fourth energy level the silicon will ha not have any sort of electrons now you understand that silicon how the silicon is getting formed now let's talk about calcium okay now calcium has 20 atomic number of calcium is 20 so it should come as this as per the definition to a 10 closer to the nucleus to 8 and then it should have 10 right now look at your book this is the level it is telling 2 8 10 but that's a small different there's a small different they say that the calcium when you're talking about atomic number of calcium it goes like this 2 8 8 and 2 why it is not 18 why this one is not 18 and why they are putting 8 here and 2 here do you have that confusion? So, let's talk about that one. Right. Until when atomic number is greater than or equal to 28, the atomic number written 8 in third level, not 18. Okay. Until when? Until 28 equal or Yes, greater than. Now, potassium has 19. So, therefore, the first energy level 2, 8, 8. 2 plus 8 is equals to 10. 10 plus 8 is equal to, yes, 18. 18 plus 1. That is 19. Now, they will not write 9 here. Instead of that, they will break it 8 and 1. Until when? 
yeah up to 28 so the calcium also has 20 therefore calcium also written as 2882 now you understood what is the difference between that so therefore the atomic number of calcium is written like this let's see that one here we go 2882 2 here 8 here the configuration of the calcium is coming as this lovely so we understood why it is written as 2882 it's a very good education that we had and we got the explanation why the calcium is not written as 2810 instead of 2882 let's talk about another one zinc is in front of you it has 20 atomic number and the it's written as 2 in the first configuration here you go 2 and in the second configuration it is written as 8 and the third it is 18 and the fourth it is 2 why we have we are writing like that because this 30 is more than 28 so the configuration will come as per the book so we clearly understood what is an electron configuration. An electronic configuration, how it is written when the atomic number is less than 28 or equals to 28 in the electronic configuration, especially in the case of calcium. We studied about that one in today's lesson. I'm going to meet you in another beautiful session to talk about the periodic tables. Until then, bye-bye and take care of yourself.